Have you ever wondered what the different kinds of orgasms are that you can have as a woman? Well, I'm going to break it down in very simple terms today for you so that you can learn to experience a whole plethora of orgasmic sensations in your body. So the three kinds of orgasms, oh, what are they? So uh, this is very simply breaking them down because I think there are as many orgasms as there are women and as there are every single individual time you make love. Because in each moment you are being present with your lover, with your body, and wherever the energy is going, wherever you're inviting it to go, whatever your intention is, that's all a mixture that cannot be replicated. So, that said, there are three gateways or doorways that um, you can pass through in order to reach higher states of bliss and ecstasy. The first is your clitoris. Your clitoris is that feeling of, oh, I'm getting ready and I'm getting frisky and I'm getting turned on. Your clitoris is actually just the tip of the iceberg. And actually, it kind of looks like it. Here I did a, um, a little quick drawing, tip of the iceberg. So that's your clitoris that you know, and um, those are, this is the rest of the actual um, clitoral organ. It goes deeply down into your vagina, and um, I say endocrine glands there because when you stimulate your clitoris, it's stimulating your endocrine glands. Very cool. What I want you to remember about the clitoris is it is truly designed for a woman's pleasure. It is really, it's that little button that a woman can go touch and just feel ah, a flood of endorphins. There are 8,000 nerve endings in the clitoris. What? There are over 7,000 nerve endings in one foot. That's a, a lot more of a surface area than the clitoris. So the clitoris is really there for pleasure. There's also um, an interesting fact about the clitoris is there is one nerve that takes, um, that connects the clitoris to the brain. It's called the pudendal nerve. When you have a clitoral orgasm, it's a very kind of uh, explosive. Clitoral orgasm, I personally don't strive for those anymore. Um, it used to be what I thought was an orgasm, but then I realized that the clitoris is, is really just the getting start point. So if that's all you've known and you found this video, then welcome to your amazing body. You're about to find out that you have so much more pleasure at your hands, at your fingertips, um, that you can have access to. So the next spot, I'm going to use this little uh, image here. So we're going to look at these three spots. This little red spot, that's your first gate, that's your clitoris. Okay, now we're going to talk about the second spot. And that's your G-spot. So by the time you reach your G-spot, you should feel engaged and it should feel pretty intense. Usually a good way to reach the G-spot if you're with a man is doggy style. And that's when women just feel that like oh, stimulation of the G-spot and it feels intense. If you have a G-spot orgasm, you will feel very connected. You'll feel connected to yourself. You'll feel connected to your partner. You'll feel really, really good. Whereas a clitoral orgasm, it's a bit more pow, poof, gone. Um, more local, it feels to me. So then we have the third gate, which um, is your cervix, which looks like a smile. Um, and what's interesting to note about the cervix, compared to the clitoris, which only has one nerve going to the brain, it has three nerves going to the brain. Um, and energetically, that means that there is three main energy channels that it can open up in your body. That means you're going to be able to flow your sexual energy up your body and actually feel invigorated and energized. And you'll, you'll, you'll just be smarter. <laughs> Simply said, if you get more energy powering up your brain, you have, you have more ideas, you have faster impulses. Everything is brighter and better. So um, that 
you would call that a cervical orgasm. And again, there are many types of cervical orgasms that you could have. Infinite. You could call them heartgasms, braingasms, because it's depending on how where the energy in your body goes. You might feel like you have an out-of-body orgasm. It feels like you're orgasming in space. So that's all there for you to explore. And with a, with a cervical orgasm, you're also going to feel um, a oneness with the universe. And that sounds pretty cliche, but you literally can feel like you melt, your body melts, and in those moments, however long you can make it last, it can feel timeless and you would forget everything that you were worrying about before. I think that is what people strive for, um, tantrika strive for, yogi strive for. It's those moments where you feel absolute bliss. There's no awareness of time or to-do list that just doesn't exist in, in, in that place. And so the reason why you'd be interested in exploring Tantra, or I am interested in exploring Tantra, is I want to learn how to make that last longer. Because the longer you make it last, the longer you're, you're, you're basically you're practicing it and you're going to be able to sustain that in your life. The easier it will be to go there again. One more thing about uh, the cervical orgasm is when your cervix gets penetrated and touched in whatever stimulation you'd like, which could be straight up and down, it could be side and side, or maybe circular, it will usually take some time to really open up. And if you go to the cervix too quickly, it will not feel good. Either will be numb um, or painful or anything in between that. So you really need to go through the three gates, the clitoris, the G-spot, and then the cervix. You can't just be like, whoa, I want a cervical orgasm. I'm going to go straight to the cervix. You can't, you can't skip through the first two doors. So it is a progression. And the cervix usually does not like hard and fast. Good thing to remember. And last thing I want to say is the more you try to have an orgasm and you're, and, or, or you're thinking, oh, am I having an orgasm? Or am I not? Oh, am I, am I, am I not? Um, the more you're going to create anxiety around it. So being orgasmic or being receptive and, and following, um, um, I guess, something from Tantra, like where you learn to surrender and receive, it's not becoming submissive. You be, you're receiving and surrendering to the flow and to the moment. Then you can have the ecstasy come to you instead of trying to make it happen. Because when we try to make something happen, it's usually because we're aware of it not being there. And when you focus on that, then you're just going to push it away further. So do not think about when and how am I going to have an orgasm. Just enjoy the moment. And another thing is don't, you don't need to always have an orgasm every time we have, you have sex. I don't have an orgasm every time I have sex. And in those times, I see it as a continuation. So it's like making love and then stop. But keep the foreplay going, making love, and then stop. And it, the longer you can actually do that, the better, because then when you do, when your body does open to the orgasm, you'll be able to, um, it will have that, that slow growth instead of the woo peak and drop. Okay, this video is getting pretty long. I feel like I could make another video about orgasmic energy. And um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it at that. So my main message for this was, to be aware of the three different types of orgasms, that you can um, keep it local in your clitoris, G-spot orgasm, feel connected, or the cervical infinite ways you can orgasm and feel absolute bliss. So thank you so much for watching, being patient with me as I explain this to you on camera. And please like this video if you liked it, if you found it beneficial, comment below, give me some questions. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Let's continue learning how to deeply love ourselves so that we can truly love another and have fulfilling, incredible relationships. So thank you so much for watching. And in the meantime, bliss out! Get bliss, get bliss. Ah, 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 yes, ah! <laughs>